Welcome back to The Watch List. I'm Nicole Petalides. We're talking about Amplify ETFs. Ringing the opening bell here today, a big celebration at the New York Stock Exchange. So we want to talk about the very latest ETF, SOFR. And to do that with us, Christian Magoon, CEO of Amplify ETFs. Thank you so much for being with us. So um, just a quick, you know, wrap it up for this morning. How was that? Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, NYSE has such a tradition, but they've mixed in the technology of the NYSE into this experience. So whether it's the video screens or the music, uh, the visibility you get from doing the opening bell. I talked to Doug Jonas, the uh, head of uh, ETF development group. We said over 25 million people will watch that on any given day, especially on Mondays is a big day. So excited to have our SOF ETF uh, out there in the public forum and with our partner, Samsung Asset Management. They were from Korea and they couldn't believe the market open here at the NYSE. Yeah, and I, I'm sure people could watch all over the world, to your point. Uh, friends of theirs all over the world can watch that bell. It's true. Secured overnight financing rate, SOFR, SOF ETF is yes. uh, what you're calling it. Um, why now? This has been trading for some time, but today was the day to really get everybody to recognize it. Um, how has it been and why now for this particular type of ETF? Yeah, well, many investors are looking at either cash or ultra short term uh, uh, assets, maybe money markets. And uh, the SOFA rate is something that kind of fits in between, has very low duration. So it's just an overnight rate that institutions get about 5.3%. And that yield uh, is very competitive versus money markets and short term rates. So it kind of fits that in between where you don't necessarily want to go to cash, but maybe you've been burned by short term uh, you know, right. exposure in the past. So 5.3% from the secured overnight financing rate, something that institutions could only access before 1.7 trillion goes into it a night now you can buy it in the form of an ETF and maybe a little less scary um, to a certain extent than investing in other things whether it's a, a high-flying stock or whatever I mean you know the regular monthly income potential that's right um, for something like that explain that yeah so uh, the overnight rate is about 5.3 percent it's been that consistently for about seven months now Wait, so did you say 5.3 or 3.5 a 5.3 percent okay. yeah yeah so very competitive versus money markets right. and short term uh, and you know the big issue here is what's your duration risk your duration risk is just overnight uh, so we think that's very compelling mm -hmm. for investors who might have cash parked on the sidelines or maybe are looking at high yield savings accounts that yield below 5%. Here's something that's liquid any given day, uh, right. an expense ratio of 20 basis points. So not very expensive. And that yield at 5.3% is net of all fees of, and expenses. So both companies, Amplify and Samsung, developing jointly new products, marketing strategies. Um, tell me about that partnership. Um, this is an example of the of how this can flourish. That's right. So the original idea started in Korea with Samsung Asset Management. They're the first ETF provider, the largest ETF provider in that marketplace. And they launched a product called Kofor, the Korean overnight financing mm -hmm. rate. They raised over $3 billion in it. We're partners with them. And we had talked about launching something in the U.S. and realized that SOFR was the way to do it. So here's an idea from the Korean ETF space that's now migrated into the U.S. US space. Usually it's vice versa, but this is part of the unique right. partnership with Samsung Asset Management. And congratulations being named a finalist for best new US fixed income ETF in, yeah. in 2023. And when it launched, I mean, you have what, how much is in there now? A little over, over 150, 150 million, yeah. yeah, in six months. So a very strong start relative to many ETFs. And so when you think about U.S. fixed income, I mean, that's a strategy for a portfolio when someone wants to have a diversified portfolio, right? Yes. What portion are we thinking about equities versus fixed income versus I don't know what else you want to add in there? Yeah, so we talked to a lot of financial advisors who right now yeah. are keeping maybe 5 to 10% in cash given market volatility. Right. And they're concerned about, well, what are they getting for that cash? What kind of yield? So you know, getting a 5% or more yield on their cash uh, allocation is, is pretty timely. And, you know, we've seen a little bit of a dip in the marketplace here. So we think some of these advisors are going to put some of that money to work now. So many people have been concerned about the run up. Now we've seen a little bit of a dip on the equity side. Mm -hmm. So having that cash or that dry powder on hand maybe makes some sense. And Amplify, I mean, it's not just this one. I mean, you have yeah. other names under the umbrella. What are some of the names that you want to promote today that maybe have been more successful? 
successful, have yes. had a good run, really notable. Yeah, so one of our largest and oldest funds is DIVO, Devo. Mm -hmm. It's over $3 billion in assets, and it's a blue chip uh, ETF that owns stocks, but then the manager has the ability to write covered calls on individual stocks, which is pretty unique. Most covered call ETFs write calls on the index versus the actual underlying securities. So this is a you know, five-star rated fund that's done quite well and um, is leading in the derivative income category. Yeah. On the other side of the coin, we launched the first blockchain ETF that's actively managed back in 2018. So we own crypto uh, mining Which stocks, BLOK. Okay. Yeah, it's the largest in the space and mm -hmm. it's different than the Bitcoin ETFs right. in the sense that it really invests in blockchain, which includes Bitcoin ETFs, right. crypto stocks, but also blockchain technology companies. So that's been around since 2018 and is a fairly large fund as well. Yeah, that looks good. Look at that one year chart right yeah, there. Yeah. Um, that is that has certainly um, done well also. And when you talk about jointly developing some new products with Samsung, for example, what might be something in the pipeline? Well, we're looking at some option based strategies uh, to own uh, exposure in fixed income asset classes, but then maybe put an option overlay. So mm -hmm. you have fixed income, but additional option income. Right. So a little bit uh, vague and what the product will be, but we expect to file some new products with Samsung in the next month or so, which will be the first of their kind here in the US. Right. And look, that's like your that's like your Devo yes. ETF because it's you know has these blue chips, but the active manager has the capability to have those covered calls on an individual at stock. Yes. Versus doing it on an index or something. So it's it's the ETF as we know it plus. Right? Exactly. A little bit. Um, it's great to see you, Christian. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations to Thanks you to and call. everybody on the team. Um, <laughs> good to you. see you. Good Christian McGoon, CEO of Amplify ETFs.